Hi everyone! Ang lesson natin ngayon ay tungkol sa the graph of polynomial function by using leading coefficient test. Quarter 2, module 2. For the objectives, identify the leading coefficient and the degree of polynomial function. Another, determine the behavior of the graph of the given polynomial function using the leading coefficient test and draw the possible sketch. So, ito yung summary for the leading coefficient test. If the degree of polynomial is odd and the leading coefficient is positive, then the graph of the polynomial function is falling to the left and rising to the right. If the degree of polynomial is odd and the leading coefficient is negative, then the graph of the polynomial function is rising to the left and falling to the right. Number three, if the degree of the polynomial is even and the leading coefficient is positive, then the graph of the polynomial function is both rising to the left and to the right. Number four, if the degree of polynomial is even and the leading coefficient is negative, then the graph of the polynomial function is both falling to the left and falling to the right. So, mamaya, bibigyan natin yan na iba't ibang example para mas lalo maunawaan. Ngayon, ito muna ang ating gagawin. Identify the leading coefficient and the degree of polynomial function below. Yun kasi yung gagamitin natin sa pag-sketch ng graph. Kaya dapat ma-identify muna natin ang leading coefficient and the degree of polynomial function. So, here are the given for number 1 y equals 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 10. So, kukunin natin ang leading coefficient and the degree. Kapag sinabing leading coefficient, eto yung numbers or eto yung coefficient ng terms na may pinakamataas na exponent. So, isa-isahin natin yung number 1. Meron tayong 2x cubed. Ang exponent ay 3. Negative 5x squared. Ang exponent ay 2. We have negative 3x. Ang exponent ay 1. Then, yung constant natin na 10. So, ano ba ang may pinakamataas? Alin dito ang may pinakamataas na Exponent. So, syempre, ang may pinakamataas na exponent ay ito. 2x cubed. Ang gagamitin natin na leading coefficient ngayon ay 2. So, ang degree naman, ito yung highest exponent ng polynomial function. So, ang exponent natin, balikan natin dito, we have 3 2 and 1. So, ano ang highest? Okay, ano ang highest number or exponent? We have 3. Next, number 2. Y equals negative x raised to the 5th power plus x raised to the 4th power plus 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 2. So, punta tayo sa leading coefficient. Ano ba ang leading coefficient natin? Ito yung 
numbers na may pinakamataas na exponent. So, si since ang pinakamataas na exponent ay 5, eto ang leading term. So, ang leading coefficient natin ay negative 1. Ano ang degree? Yung pinakamataas na exponent. So, we have 5. Number 3. Y equals 3x raised to the 4th power minus x squared plus 3x plus 7. So, leading coefficient. Alin? Ito yung kasama ng may pinakamataas na exponent. So, ang sagot natin ay 3. Kasi ang exponent dito ay 4. Yung pinakamataas. Ang degree ng polynomial natin ay 4. So, number 4. Y equals negative x raised to the 4th power plus 5x cubed minus 9x squared minus 5x minus 4. So, ang leading coefficient. Ano ba ang coefficient nito? Kasi ito yung may pinakamataas sa exponent. So, of course, it's negative 1. So, ano ngayon ang hmm, degree? Ano ang pinakamataas na exponent? Okay, ang pinakamataas na exponent ay 4. So, eto ngayon ang sagot. Nakomplete na natin ang table. Magagamit natin yan sa susunod na activity. Let us identify and sketch the behavior of the graph of the polynomial functions. Ang gagamitin natin this time ay yung ginawa or sinagutan natin kanina. Na-identify na natin ang leading coefficient and degree of polynomials ng bawat given kanina. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin na alamin if ano ang behavior ng graph ng bawat polynomials. Gagamitin natin this time yung ibinigay na conditions kanina sa summary of leading coefficient test. So, unahin natin dito, isa-isahin. So, ang, ang i-consider kasi natin ngayon ay ang leading coefficient and ang degree. So, sa number 1, ang leading coefficient ay 2. So, tatanungin ko kayo, anong uri ba ng number ang 2? Positive or negative? Okay, ang 2 ay positive. Punta tayo sa degree. Sa degree naman ang iisipin, even ba yung given or add? So, ang 3, since hindi yan exactly divisible by 2, yan ay odd number. Ano ang magiging behavior kapag ang leading coefficient ay positive at ang degree ay odd number? So, sabi kanina, ang magiging behavior of the graph ay falling to the left and rising to the right. So, ang magiging itsura ay ito. Paano natin ang sabing falling to the left? Rising to the right. So, kung makikita nyo yung sketch, dito sa left side, pababa, going down yung graph natin. Then, dito naman sa right hand natin, pataas na this time ang graph. So, yun ang tinatawag na falling to the left and rising to the right. Tandaan ulit ang condition, magiging ganito ang behavior ng graph kapag ang leading coefficient ay positive at ang degree of polynomials ay odd number. So, this time naman, yung number 2, iba naman ang um, characteristic. So, tingnan natin. Ang leading coefficient niya ngayon ay negative. Ang degree ng polynomials ay ano? Add or even ang 5. Okay, 5 is an odd number. Ano ang magiging behavior kapag um, add ang degree at negative naman ang leading coefficient? So, parang magtabaligtad lang. 
Ang behavior of the graph niyan ay rising to the left and falling to the right. So, ganito ang magiging itsura. Makikita nyo yung graph dito pataas sa left side, pababa naman sa right side. So, yan naman ang itsura kapag ang leading coefficient ay negative at ang degree of polynomials ay odd number. Number 3, tingnan nga natin. Okay, anong uri ng leading coefficient? Positive or negative? Of course, it's positive. How about the degree? Ano ang masasabi niya sa 4? Even or add? Okay, even. So, kapag ganito naman ang situation, ano kaya ang behavior? Tingnan natin. Kapag positive ang leading coefficient at even ang degree, ang behavior of the graph ay rising to the left and also rising to the right. Or magiging ganito ang itsura. Tingnan ng mabuti ang graph. So, dito sa left, pataas yung graph. Dito naman sa right, pataas din ang graph. Yung number 4, ibang case naman. So, tingnan ng negative 1. Leading coefficient this time is negative 1. So, tatanungin ko ulit kayo. Positive or negative? Of course, negative. Ang 4, even. Ano naman kaya ang magiging behavior kapag ang uh, leading coefficient ay negative at ang degree ay even? So, ang behavior ng graph ay falling to the left and falling to the right. So, etong itsura ng graph kung makikita nyo. So, ang graph dito going down. So, on the other side naman, it's also going down or falling. So, that's it for the um, behavior of the graph using leading coefficient and degree of polynomial. So, siya nagtatapos ang lesson natin tungkol sa graph of polynomial function using leading coefficient test. So, thank you for watching and listening. Have a great day. Bye everyone!